What's going on today, guys? Uh, I don't know how well you're gonna hear me. I'm trying a uh, little setup here in my my seat, kind of do like a uh, almost like a pod drive, I guess. But this is part of the reason why I haven't been making a lot of videos because every time I'm off, it's raining. So sorry for the lack of videos I'm trying, but I'm either busy or it's literally weather like this. Like today, I'm not doing anything and it's raining. So I, I feel like this happens every single day I'm off. But um. I wanted to talk about, you know, how good are Crown Vicks as, you know, highway cruisers? Uh, because in my personal opinion, I think the Crown Vic is the best highway cruiser you can possibly buy. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk, we'll, we'll talk, you know, talk about a few things. Um, we'll start off by saying, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll look at someone that's commuting with it. Um, you know, this is mainly targeted for someone that's like, you know, in my location, I don't know if you know, I live in Jersey, um, and a lot of people in Jersey, they commute to like New York, you know, on a daily basis. Um, so that's kind of where I'm, I'm picturing myself. I mean, you got me a different situation. I know California, you know, they have the freeways and stuff, and I know that California apparently has horrible traffic. Um, you know, the same can be said here, but depending on your location, it's going to be different. But we're basing it off of what I'm experienced with. Um, if I were to be commuting to New York every day, this car would, would be one of my top vehicles that I'd be looking at to buy to commute with every day. Um, now granted, being in the city with this car, you get terrible gas mileage, and that's the main topic we're gonna get into in a second. Um, it's also kind of big, so it'll be a little bit difficult maneuvering in the city. but. If I were looking for a commuter car every single day, um, you know, I, this is my daily driver, but if I were to commute on the parkway or freeway or something every single day, um, a Crown Vic would definitely be a top choice for me, and I'm going to give you the reasons why. Um, now, this is also going to be based on the, like, interceptor package, what I had, the police interceptor. Um, obviously, if you're going to have, like, a Lincoln Town car um, or a Grand Marquis, it's going to be even more of an obvious choice in my opinion but I'm basing it as what I'm used to what I have um, commuting with this car would be great it handles phenomenal these cars handle really well in all weather conditions I mean right now if I wanted if I was on the parkway or something I could be doing 90 miles an hour right now 80 miles an hour in the rain and I really wouldn't feel that unsafe to be quite honest with you um, as long as you have a good set of tires and you have some driving, you know, some, some common sense while you're driving, you can do 80 miles an hour, no problem in the rain. I mean, these cars really handle well. Um, secondly, they have great pickup. You know, anytime you really need to pass somebody, you really should have no problems passing anyone really at any speed. I mean, if you're doing 80 miles an hour and you step on it, yeah, your transit is going to downshift. It's not going to be too happy, um, but you'll, you'll pass someone, you have the passing power. I mean, when I did 100 miles an hour in this car, it still had, like, pickup for days. It felt fine. Um, in fact, I, the most fast I ever went was 120, and it still felt, um, it still felt like I had picking power. Like, the car still wanted to pick up and go. It was still pulling. So, these cars really have a, a good power range band. Um, that's another thing that makes them a good commuter. Se uh, second thing I'd say, or, or I think we're on a third thing, is, uh, you know, the interior itself they're comfortable in here the seats are comfortable for them you know as long as you have one that's in proper working order the heat is phenomenal in these cars the AC works really well um, you know they're just overall everything you get inside the interior it's nice now my car it doesn't have um, doesn't have um, cruise control which is kind of eh, especially if you're commuting I would imagine you're gonna want cruise control you can find these cars for that. It's a little bit of a harder option to find, but you can get it. Um, but if you can, you know, just keep your foot on the pedal and not worry too much about it, then it's not really that big a deal. I mean, it kind of sucks that I don't have it, but, you know, I never really, it was never really that big a deal to me. You know what I mean? I just kind of live with it. Um, but that's definitely something that you would want. Um, and I think the third reason why you want to commute, so we got the comfort, you know, the how, how nice it is. You know, like I said, they handle real smooth, real safe. Um, another thing that these cars are good at commuting for is the reliability. 
let's be honest guys these cars are really reliable if you know anything about cars um you know that the crown vicks are you know they, they've really shown that they're good cars so these cars are, are fairly reliable yeah they have their problems but they do they do well with reliability so as long as you take care of it maintain it you'll have a good commuter for a long time ago um so we got reliability we got comfort and we have interior comfort um those to me are the main three reasons why these are, are really good highway cruisers and really good daily drivers um the only thing i guess you could add in two for pros which kind of depending i mean i don't I guess it's a pro in some ways, but you know, people will think you're a cop, especially on the parkway or free, you know, freeway, something like that. Um, when I'm in roads like this, I don't usually uh, clear the lanes out. People know I'm not a cop, but when I'm on the parkway, if I'm in that left lane, I usually clean the, uh, the I usually clear a whole entire lane. I have the whole entire left lane to myself. So, um, you know, if you are driving, if you are driving this as a, as a daily, a daily commuter. Those are really the, the main pros you're going to want when you're daily commuting a car. I mean, you're going to want a car that is is comfortable, going to be reliable, and it's going to get you there, you know, no problem. You want to be, you want to get to work safely. You know, you want to have something that's safe. Um, the only downside to these is the fact that they have a V8. Um, and you're not going to get the best of gas mileage. That is the only real disadvantage that I personally see to to commuting with one of these cars um yeah you know you could commute with a prius which is great because you're going to get 60 miles per gallon 50 miles per gallon you know a little toyota corolla or you know whatever um if you're really in the you know uh mpgs get like an, an old honda insight those things get like 80 70 miles per gallon so if you're you know if you're if you want to get the absolute best i don't want to say bang for your buck but like the cheapest cost of daily you know of commuting back and forth and work or whatever or just commuting in general um a crown vic may not be your best option but even if you have some extra you know some extra money that you could use towards really gas at the end of the day i mean guys these cars are completely worth it um and even the gas isn't that bad if i kept my foot out of it and i drive nice i probably could get somewhere around like 22 miles per gallon maybe 23 uh, you know somewhere in that range the most i ever got was 20 um and that was no the most i ever got was 19 i think and that was me driving like 80 miles an hour uh down the parkway and that was also like kind of mixed driving too so the most i ever got was 19 that was me driving 80. i guarantee you if i was doing like 65 70 i probably could have got close to like 21 you know 22 miles per gallon which is pretty good considering um that's the only real downside to this car. That and the fact that, at least in my area, once, like I said, I'm in Jersey, um, registration's kind of high. I think every year I pay like $87 for registration on this car, uh, which is kind of a lot. You can get a you know a little Toyota Prius or something. It's probably gonna be about $40, probably be about half. You know, if, the fact of that year to year, it's not that bad. You know, it's only an extra $40 a year, which is not a lot per month, but you do it every single year, $40, $40, $40, $40, $40. You know, if you have this car five years, you know, that's an extra 250 bucks. You know, so little things like that do add up, but I think overall, if you're looking for a really good commuter back and forth on the parkway, definitely keep a Crown Vic in mind. Um, they really run great, and the comfort is bar none. I mean, like I said, if even if you have a Lincoln Town car or Grand Marquis, the comfort is going to be, it's going to be like a dream. This car handles on the parkway perfectly. And I mean, this has a stiffer suspension, so I can't even imagine what it's like being in a town car or something. So, I don't know, that's pretty much it. I'm just making a quick little video here. I know I'm ranting on. Um, I just, like I said, I, I haven't really had time to make videos because it's either raining like it is now, or, you know, I, I, I just, I'm super busy with stuff. So, I'm just trying to make a video just to, to get one out it's, it's actually kind of a garbage video to be honest with you but you know i'm trying to trying to stay engaged with you know the, the people that are you know subscribed to my channel or even new subscribers and i kind of want to hear you know feedback from you guys too because i enjoy that on my channel i enjoy hearing feedback from you know you guys um you know how do you feel that you know our crown vix is daily drivers or not even necessarily daily driver i'm talking mainly just 
mainly just commuting as daily drivers are good daily drivers but uh, you know commuting is sometimes commuting is different than just daily driving a car so let me know what you guys think make sure you like comment and subscribe and uh i got something really cool coming to the channel guys i don't know how much you guys are gonna like it but um i'm i'm hoping you guys like it but i got something i got something really big coming to the channel so um that's it make sure you guys like comment subscribe and uh peace out